Okay. Hi, everybody. So we're going to start our new unit today on systems. So what is a system? Let's start there. So a system of equations is two or more equations. And we are only going to stick with linear systems this year. And you're only really going to see two. When you get to algebra next year, you may see more. We're also going to talk today about what the solution to a system is. Because so I'm going to ask you to solve a system different ways. So a solution is the point, the x comma y, that makes all equations true. And I'm going to show what that means in a second. So for today, we're going to teach you guys how to solve systems by graphing. There's actually three ways to solve them. So again, today we're going to focus on graphing. And there's going to be three types of solutions. We're only going to focus on the first one, which is when the two lines intersect. So this right here is, is my solution. It's where the two lines intersect. And again, I'm going to kind of show you what that means in a second. And we're only going to focus on two lines that intersect. Later, later on next week, we'll talk about what happens when we get different lines that don't intersect. Okay, so our new system, this should be on page 18 when you finish. And again, what's nice about the video, you guys can pause, you can watch it over again, watch it over a third time. So let's talk about what a system looks like. So this right down here is a system. Why? Because it has two or more equations. This one's going to go on page 19 of your notebook. And again, like I said, today we're only going to focus on solving them by graphing. And remember, when you just learned to solve a system, you find the point of intersection. So the steps are written for you. So step number one, solve each equation for y. So I'm going to do that first. So I'm going to solve my first equation for y. So that means get y alone. Remember we reviewed this yesterday. So it's negative x plus 2. Now I'm going to solve my second equation. You don't have to use two colors. I'm just going to show you the difference. So remember, solve for y means get y alone. So I'm going to move the 2x over. Notice I'm going to bring down the negative y. Right? You can't just get rid of that negative, and then I have to get rid of it by dividing everything by negative 1. Okay, so step number 1 is done. Step number 2 says graph both equations on the same graph. So remember how yesterday we, we practiced writing what the slope is? Negative 1 over 1, and b is 2. Always have a rise over a run. So plot your b first. If my rise is negative, it means I'm going down 1, right 1. Down 1, right 1. Down 1, right 1. I recommend you plot more than two points, especially if you don't have a ruler. Okay, so that's one line. Now I'm going to plot my second one. So remember, my slope should always have be a fraction. So in this case, it's positive 2 over 1, and b is negative 4. So I'm going to plot my b first at negative 4. If my slope is positive 2, I'm going up 2, right 1. 
rise to, write one. Rise to, write one. Okay. Step three, the intersection of the lines is the solution. So you want to notice where do they intersect? So they intersect at two comma zero, right? So two comma zero is my solution. Okay, now why is that the solution? You should all agree x is two and y is zero. You don't have to do this for every problem. I'm just showing you what this solution represents. If I plug in two for x and zero for y into both equations, so this becomes negative two plus two, you're going to simplify both sides. What do you notice? Both sides are equal. So that means that's a true statement. What does that really mean in algebra? Two comma zero is a point on my red line, which we kind of already know, because visually we can see. Now, if I take the second line, which was y equals two x minus four, and I plug in two for x and zero for y, and I simplify, I use an order of operations showing step by step what happened here. Are both sides equal? Yes, so that's also true. So that's what it means to be a solution. So this point satisfied both equations, which means this point lies on both lines. So that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to find that ordered pair that makes both statements true. What does it mean to be true? When I plug in the points, both sides of my equation are always equal. Okay, feel free to watch this video again. You guys are going to practice solving systems by graphing today, and please submit your work.